Hey, Annette Reader here, the Biblical Nutritionist. And today it's time for another Taste and See moment where we can take scriptures and stories from the Bible, learn the, the significance of them, not only in our spiritual walk, but our, in our nutritional walk. And then we can share it at the dinner table. And therefore, remind our family all that God does to show us how much he loves us. So today, our story is about Jacob and Esau. I'm sure you remember this story. Remember their twin brothers. Esau was the oldest, but by only a few seconds. And then Jacob came out holding the heel of Esau. Yes, definitely Jacob wanted to be first, but he didn't. Well, as you remember this story, there was a little bit of parental favoritism that was being shown. Isaac loved Esau and Rebekah loved Jacob. Isaac was a man of hunting, a man of the field. He loved his game. And Rebecca, she loved the house. She loved cooking. She loved everything about that. And of course, the children, you know, shown that those same uh, um, desires as well. Okay, so you remember the story. Esau was out hunting and he came in and he was famished, totally famished. I'm starving. Can you just imagine that feeling? And they wouldn't have been eating all day long like we do in America. So he came in just totally starving. And Jacob had just finished making a big pot of red lentil stew. So Jacob, being the younger one, says to Esau, and I'm, and I'm just paraphrasing, I'm not quoting, but he says, Esau, sell me your birthright and I'll give you this pot of stew. Well, Esau's like, well, what good is a birthright when I'm starving? I'm totally starving. And so they, they made the covenant. They exchanged their, their gifts. And so what we have here is Jacob made this big pot of lentil stew. He made him a loaf of bread. And Esau said, sure, you can have my birthright. What good is it for me anyway? And God changed the heart of Esau at that moment. Because it says in scripture that Esau despised his birthright. You can look this up in Genesis, um, Genesis 20, 25 and 26. Okay, here's our takeaway from this story. And this is what I want you to get from this. What are we giving away today that is valuable for something that's worth very little? In fact, in the King James Version, it uses the word pottage for the stew. And pottage has become familiar, has become known as a word that means it's become a metaphor to describe giving away something of value in exchange for something very little. So something of value for something very little. So let's think about this. So next time you serve lentils at the dinner table, and lentils are such an amazing food, which I seem to say that about all foods that God created, but, but it's true. Lentils, they have a high amount of protein and fiber. And you know, I preach and teach protein and fiber. In fact, it should be my middle name, the Net Protein Fiber Reader, <laughs> okay? So they, it's loaded with protein and fiber. It also has different vitamins and minerals, such as potassium, folate, several of your B vitamins, B as in be happy. It has magnesium, manganese, iron, vitamin A, calcium, phosphorus. Okay, when you put these all together, your body's going to take the lentils that you're enjoying and it's going to build healthy bones. It's going to help with fertility. It's going to help with your heart to keep it healthy. It's going to help with your digestive system. It's going to give your the fiber and these B vitamins is just going to go in there and your probiotics are going to say, whoa, we're, we're feasting tonight. And that's going to give you more vitamins. Okay, so it's going to help with your digestive system. It's going to help with your brain. That's most of the body systems that you have. Anytime you eat the foods that God's given us, that he's designed for us, we benefit. We benefit with clearer thinking, we benefit with a happier mood, and we benefit with a body that we can go out and do what we're called to do. Okay, so let's start serving lentils at the dinner table. And of course, with a loaf of bread. Only the bread that I've taught you how to make. Don't, don't even be buying that stuff in the store. I don't care what name is on it. You know, if it's sitting on the shelf, it's not for you. That's just the bottom line. I know I get lots of emails. What about this brand? What about this brand? It's sitting on the shelf. It cannot sit on the shelf unless there's preservatives. Just so you know, that's just the bottom line fact. I know there's some good companies that have a lot of good intentions. Make it yourself. Okay. 
So the next time you serve lentils and bread. Now lentils doesn't always have to be a soup or a stew. It could just, you can make up a big um, batch of lentils and then put it on your salad. You can make tabbouleh out of it. You can um, sprout them before you cook them and, and add them to almost any dish. Amazing, amazing health benefits. Okay, so when you serve the lentils and you serve the bread at your dinner table, remember this is another one of those taste and see moments where you can share a story where from straight from scripture about how Esau was willing to trade something of great value for something of very little. Today, we have people who are giving away their marriages for a little bit of adultery. We have people who are giving away their marriages because they're hooked on pornography. We have women who are giving away their future for an abortion. I realize these are very sensitive topics and I am not saying these lightly, but each one of these decisions is breaking apart what God has designed. And anytime we break apart what God has designed, it's going to hurt. And it can hurt for a long time until we go back to God and receive the healing that he has for us. And that's the good news. He has healing. Okay, so be careful that we don't give away something of value, which could be God's word. Don't give away God's word for something man is trying to teach you otherwise. Don't give away God's foods, the foods that he's created for your goodness. I have an avocado here getting ready for the next video. Don't give this away for some imitation. All right. I think you got the point. Thank you for joining me for today's Taste and See moment. Share the stories at the dinner table so that your children can, can be firm in their foundation of understanding how God works. God gives us the valuable and man tries to make it little. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, Annette Reader. Be sure you're subscribing to this station and, and you've checked out the book, Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study, and you are following all of these videos. These videos are for you. I'm Annette Reader, the Biblical Nutritionist. I'm on mission to keep you on mission.